Uh, hello, my juniors and seniors. My name is Mahmoud Qawasmi, and I will be teaching you AP English language and composition. Uh, as you are aware, uh, every teacher should give a brief introduction to the course. This is the objective of this video, to give you an overview about the course. Why take AP English language and composition? As you are aware, AP courses in general, they are introductory college level courses. They help you a lot when you go to the university. In this case, which is the AP language, students cultivate their understanding of writing and rhetorical arguments through reading analyzing and writing texts as they explore topics like rhetorical situations, claims and evidence, reasoning, organization, and style. No matter what you are planning to study in the future, this course is extremely beneficial to help improve your writing. It doesn't really matter whether you are studying law, medicine, engineering, business, what have you. So this course is extremely important. Now, what are the textbooks and the resources that we are, that we are going to use? Our main textbook is AMSCO, as you can see, uh, English Language and Composition. Uh, this is a very comprehensive, detailed book we're going to, you know, and the beauty of it is it is linked to the AP classroom. So there is an integration in terms of activities, okay, and of course, questions. Uh, we have a practice book, actually books sometimes. We have the Princeton, where you have full exams, and we have the steps to A5 for English language and composition. It's full of practice questions, questions that are similar to the AP real exams, external ones. Of course, our lovely and great resource, which is the AP classroom, which literally has everything. You know, the chapter check, the practice questions, the exams, the question bank. I'm going to be assigning uh, so many questions and practices from this book. Our main source for, you know, for questions will be the AP classroom. It's amazing. And as you are aware, the, you know, if you go to the book, it contains nine chapters. We're going to cover as many as we can, along with some uh, literature books. We're going to be reading To Kill a Mockingbird, and we might read King Lear, one of Shakespearean plays. You will have voice and choice when it comes to this. I'm going to really uh, uh, ask your opinion for this. Now, what is the exam overview, the exam format? Uh, it is very important to know that the exam assesses student understanding of the skills and essential knowledge outlined in the course out framework. The exam consists of three, you know, three questions in the free response part. And of course, you are talking about 45 to 47 multiple choice questions. It is, the exam is three hours and 15 minutes long. And of course, as I said, the details of the exam, including exam, you know, waiting and timing can be found below. Look at this and you will find that uh, it is, uh, you know, the wait for the MCQ is, you know, 45%. The writing is 55. We're going to start on, you know, to start with the first question, which is the sentences essay which is out of six, then the rhetorical out of six, and the argumentative out of six. 
and all the way through we will be practicing and learning mcq questions so it's parallel i'm not going to be dividing you know i will integrate the writing with the you know the multiple choice uh, a lot of students ask, are asking is ap english language and composition hard uh, you can see the students who got fives in 2021 9.1 percent which is not actually it is high compared to previous years it used to be six percent and seven percent there is improvement in 2022 uh, of course i'm sure in 2024 you will improve you know the percentage i'm very optimistic uh, students who are coming to my class to get an a that is not hard to do but it's not really easy i fully understand that most of you are really high achievers but you will get what you deserve and what you earn work hard and i'm going to help you okay get and reach your goals the idea is don't come to me and tell me i'm you know i'm a senior and i'm graduating i need a high grade yes you need a high grade you need to work for it and you need really to earn it okay i will help you do that no worries now it's good to know the exam date you're going to sit for the exam on tuesday may 14th 2024 as you can see we have plenty of time to practice to study to write i will be available at any time and the expectations are really achievable you need to submit your work on time attendance is highly appreciated and mandatory you're going to lose marks if you you know if you are absent without a an excuse the classwork cannot be resent to students so you're going at least to lose the class mark the classwork mark and uh, participation uh, engagement I, you need to show me that you are really engaged in the course you read do extra readings uh, by the way those who are taking history you can use history as an example evidence in the last question so it's there is you know integration between subjects we are going to be reading really interesting material okay we're going to discuss the material together uh, i hope that this video was helpful uh, i love this course the previous batch two years ago they achieved really great great results and i'm going to you are going to perpetuate this and you will get really good results well, hopefully with your engagement and with your input and with your participation you are going to enrich the course we're going to learn from each other. God bless you.